So is the Congress more or less settled that they have the power in the state or will they be still cautious because there are several rounds still left? So, Maria, I could not hear the question, but as of now, Congress is fully confident because they people are saying, in fact, Vikramaditya is saying that, you know, all the observers are now coming to Himachal Pradesh and, in fact, they are forming the government here. Also, a question was asked, so he, he replied that, you know, because our central observers are coming and as far as the majority is concerned, so they are somewhere moving towards the magic number. 35 is the magic number that is required as of now and Congress is leading on 37 seats as of now. Also, you know, OPS was the main issue as far as uh, issues related to Himachal Pradesh are concerned and Vikramaditya is somewhere maintaining that in the very first cabinet they'll be deciding on the OPS issue as well. So again if I can show you the visuals, Laddus are here and all the supporters you can see just a few minutes back we heard the Narevadi, Congress, Jindabad and all other things and this is going to be a victory. This is what Congress supporters are saying. In fact, leaders are maintaining that this is going to be a big victory for them. Also the important question was who will be the CM to which Vikramaditya has replied and in fact has maintained that his mother Pratibha Singh is uh, uh, a very part of those candidates whose name yeah, Pratibha Singh a very, is a, very is part a, is a contender. Akash, I'm just going to check. Uh, Bhupesh Baghel is addressing a press conference. Let's go across to that. या धान उठाव की या पेमेंट की कोई शिकायत नहीं है सब बढ़िया से संचालित हो रहा है आ, मैं समझता हूं प्रदेश में इस इस साल धान खरीदी का वैसे हर साल रिकॉर्ड तोड़ रहे हैं इस साल भी रिकॉर्ड टूटेगा तो काफी आ, अच्छे ढंग से संचालित हो रहा है पैरा धान के लिए भी मैंने अपील की है तो अधिकांश किसान हैं वो पैरा जलाने काम नहीं किए हैं कुछ किसान थोड़ा बहुत जलाए हैं तो इसका अच्छा रिस्पांस आ रहा है सभी से फिर से मैं निवेदन करूंगा और मीडिया के भी साथियों से कहना चाहूंगा पैरा दान के लिए वो लोग प्रोत्साहित करें और उनको सम्मानित कर, करना भी चाहिए ताकि एक तो कार्बन उत्सर्जन नहीं होगा दूसरा मवेशियों के लिए चारा उपलब्ध उपलब्ध होगा आप लोगों की तरफ से कोई सवाल हो रेट मुला का आपके तरह ऐसी कोई बातें जिसको आप शेयर करना चाहते हैं ऐसी कोई समस्या जिसका निदान के मतलब सबसे ज्यादा बैंकों की मांग आ रही है बोले हम लाइन लगाए रहते हैं पैसा नहीं निकाल पाते हैं भीड़ बहुत रहती है टॉकिंग अबाउट छत्तीसगढ़ एट द मोमेंट नो कंफर्मेशन वेदर और नॉट ही इज ऑलरेडी ऑन रूट और ही इज गोइंग टू मेक हिज वे टू हिमाचल एट दिस पॉइंट देयर वर टॉक्स दैट ही मे बी सेंट देयर और ही मे एयर डैश बट कांग्रेस कम लुकिंग कंफर्टेबली प्लेस्ड एट द मोमेंट to form government in Himachal, the, uh, the family of Veer Bhadra Singh, Pratibha Singh and of course Veer Bhadra Singh and Pratibha Singh's son, Vikramaditya Singh, one of the youngest candidates uh, this time around in the elections, has uh, already come out and said that they are looking confident to form government. Uh, quickly just checking with Zaka Jacob on the wall, if we were to look at, we, I know we are focusing on Gujarat, but quickly on Himachal if we can look at, uh, where do you think the BJP has lost maximum ground? They've lost their minus 17 from the last oh, time absolutely. around. absolutely. Which region are, uh, has hurt them definitely most? Definitely Shimla. Time? Definitely Shimla because mm -hmm. I think there almost all the seats. Uh, let me just bring out uh, Shimla. Uh, the populated belts of Himachal, Hamirpur, Bilaspur, Shimla again, it's 6-2. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the capital of the state, if you're trailing 1-4 is to four in that ratio, 6-2. I think that's a problem for uh, the BJP. So in Shimla, definitely uh, the uh, uh, the Congress has done well. I just want to bring in Hamirpur and Bilaspur as well. Again, these are the populous parts of the state. Uh, let's bring those districts again, Hamirpur and Bilaspur. Let's see how the BJP is doing there. Uh, all right, this is not working. The numbers are there. It's 4-4. Four, four. It's evenly split uh, one to the other. So one of the independents, uh, Ashish Sharma, is a, a Congress independent, but it's 4-4. Four, four. But really, I think it's the Shimla story, the whole belt here, the Shimla belt. The Solon Belt, Una Belt, that's where the Congress is doing well, the BJP doing well in the Mandi, Kangra Belt in the central part of the state. And of course, the outer constituencies as well, whether you go to Lahol, Spiti, Kinnor, all of these outer constituencies, very sparsely populated, 30,000 people, 50,000 people. Again, there the Congress doing well. But I think the bulk of the, the Congress's gains have happened here in this Shimla Belt as well as in this Hamirpur, Vilaspur Belt. And I think that's where they have done Apple growers, well. yeah. their discontent is a matter of concern. Perhaps did the BJP underestimate their discontent and the Congress kept on promising the benefits for apple growers as well. Shama Mohammed of the Congress party is joining us. Shama, of course, this is a number which is looking very promising for the Congress party. Uh, and if these numbers hold, then Congress could very well form the government. So it is the rivage which is continuing in the state. <laughs> Yeah, so it is not if the numbers hold. I am sure the numbers will 
old because there's no need for the lappers now and I'm seeing the time also. So I think we've said before also we will form the government in Himachal. There's been a lot of issues including the old pension scheme, the price of fertilizers, cartons for the apple farmers, unemployment, price rise, you know, and also the Agnivir. Most of the, a lot of uh, Himachal people are Jawans. So that has also got, not gone down very well with uh, this, uh, the, the Himachalis. And the other thing is they try to bring in UCC, the Hindutva laboratory here. And they have to understand that that doesn't work in Himachal Pradesh like it works in Gujarat. The Gujarat, of course, you can play the communal divide, but this thing does not so, Mama, Mama, interrupting work you. In We've Himachal. got an update coming in from Gujarat. We'll come back to you, ma'am, in just a bit. Harsh Sangvi has won. He's won from the seat of Majura. That's the big key race alert that's just coming through. Harsh Sangvi has won comfortably from Gujarat, uh, in, the, in Gujarat, from the Surat district in Majura. That's the area. Raghavji Patel uh, is also winning. Winning from Jamnagar Rural. We'll try and go across to Greya at the live results hub for a quick update on both Gujarat and Himachal in just a bit. But convincing wins, and it was a no brainer oh, as far as that's Let's in come back to Surat, Gujarat now. All yeah. nine Chaka. seats, you were asking about Surat. Mm -hmm. All nine seats the BJP is uh, leading in, including in Varacha, where Alpesh Kataria of the Amadmi Party is trailing. In Katargam, Gopal Italia of the Amadmi Party is trailing. So all nine seats are in Surat district being won by the BJP, or the BJP is in lead, including in Majura where the Home Minister of the State, uh, Harsh Sangvi, is leaning in. If you look at all the cities, in Jamnagar, both the seats, Jamnagar North, Rivaba Jadeja, Jamnagar South, the BJP candidate, in all four Rajkot seats, including Rajkot West, from where Vijaya Rupani used to fight, there again the BJP is leading. Surat, all nine seats, BJP leading. Vadodara, all five seats, BJP leading. Even in Ahmedabad, out of the 16 seats, Congress last time had four, BJP had 12. This time, BJP has 14 and the Congress has only two. I think two strands stand out for me. One, uh, it'll be interesting to see, particularly in the minority-dominated seats uh, in Walled City. Again, the Congress had four last time, right now only two. Also, the tribal-dominated seats, both in South Gujarat as well as in North Gujarat, where the Congress did relatively well last time around. The Aam Aadmi Party has eaten into it. In one seat, the AAP is leading. In the other seats, the BJP is leading. So both in tribal-dominated seats as well as uh, in the minority-dominated seats, there seems to be a new claimant to the Congress vote. And that is what the Congress is being hurt by. And of course, Saurashtra. We've been talking about Saurashtra. Right. Maximum number of seats, 58 seats. Uh, out of the five seats, AAP is leading in four are in Saurashtra. So it is definitely hurting the Congress party in rural pockets of Saurashtra. I think that is something that they so need the to BJP really... the BJP's overall tally going up <clears throat> significantly. So yep. the BJP's growth is coming at the cost of other parties, but also... The Congress has been decimated. The Aam Aadmi Party is trying to occupy that space of opposition, but Congress is in double digit. Aam Aadmi Party is in no, single, single digit. Just that. See, 99 last time around, yeah. 57 seats the BJP is pinched from the Congress. So yeah. has the Cong BJP retained its 99 and while yes. taking 57 out of the 58 yeah. away from yeah. the Congress yes. Party? I so so purely pinching it away, taking it away from the Congress straight up. You, you know, we, we talked about the Partidar seats, even the OBC dominated seats, and they are much larger. 70 25 out of 182 are OBC dominated seats. Wow, Look at this. 64. 64 to just 9. The Congress reduced to single digits in OBC dominated seats. You go back and check in 2017, that figure was 34. If a party comes down from 34 seats just to 9, nine seats, seats and BJP has got 39, almost 40 of that, then I think there is a problem. There's a problem for the Congress party. The OBC vote has shrunk for them, the tribal vote has shrunk for them, and of course the minority vote has shrunk for them. So significant sections of, of vote bank, as, as it were, have mm. shrunk for the Congress party. You know, and they seem to have done it. with Griha because yeah. the update that is coming from Jairam Thakur's office to me is that the BJP is leading in six seats more after the 27 leads that so we are over showing. and above. So, so uh, over so, and above so these that six. means they should get to about 33. So that's that what they are.